Thank you so much for joining us today, Mr. Birla. I'm going to begin by asking you, what are the three key factors that help you take this decision finally, as far as the deal is concerned, in the present form? Three factors. Okay. I think uh, clearly the fact that we wanted uh, an asset in this region. Uh, that, of course, is the most important one. Second, uh, high quality of assets. Uh, these are relatively new assets. Two lines commissioned in 2009 and 2011. And uh, the third reason, of course, is that uh, we think it's a fair price. Give us the sense of uh, the kind of potential that you think this specific asset has in terms of scaling it up and what does in that do to your overall cement business? So the current capacity, as you know, is 4.8 million tons. Uh, the reserves are quite large, uh, 90 million tons of reserves, which uh, gives us the ability to double the current capacity. We don't have plans to do that right now. I think the first uh, stop would be to turn around uh, the existing assets. I'm going to preempt a question that you, probably a lot of investors and analysts are going to ask you, which is that it is going to th take three years for this transaction to become value accretive. Is that a too long a time? I don't think so. I think that, you know, given where the cement sector is today, it's on a downturn, given the fact that this is a fairly large transaction. I think uh, a three-year uh, time frame is fairly aggressive. Okay. This is not an all-cash uh, or a simple equity deal. There's a huge amount of debt uh, that you're taking on from um, JP Associates, the overall holding company also. What made you structure it like this? Usually, in times like these, people tend to stay away from taking on a large amount of debt. So I think if you look at our uh, balance sheet, uh, you'll find the answer there. We've got very low levels of debt as of now, uh, very comfortable on our uh, gearing ratios. Uh, and I think uh, the need for the seller was to reduce uh, debt. So this uh, structure, uh, which is basically a demerger, uh, seems to have met uh, the requirements, uh, both ours and that of the sellers. All right. Uh, are there any other pockets across the country now, post this deal, that you think you need to strengthen for your own business? Uh, what else would you look at? You are strongly present in few of the regions, and this would take care of West. But any other pockets which are left out? So let me say that uh, as of now, other than the South, uh, where there is huge overcapacity, which I believe will uh, stay for a few years, uh, we are interested in assets uh, or looking at growing across the rest of the country. And uh, is there a plan in mind? How would you uh, move So nothing that? specific in mind is now. We're always on the lookout for something that's uh, value accretive, mm -hmm. whether it's organic or through, ac through acquisition. Mm -hmm. I believe we have the wherewithals, we have the balance sheet size, we have the cash flow, the know-how of running a cement uh, unit. Uh, and therefore, it's extremely uh, attractive for us to expand at this point in time. But in this case, you chose to go ahead and buy this out and rather than setting up a new project. And earlier in the press conference, we were told because there are a lot of issues when it comes to land acquisition, getting a permissions in place. In the larger scheme of things, do you think that that would be an obstacle for expanding elsewhere in the country? It has become a huge issue for the rest of the corporate India. So I think it is going to be uh, a challenge. It's going to make land acquisition, for example, much more difficult than it's been so far. Uh, there is no doubt about that. In this particular case, uh, we got the asset at a replacement value, close to replacement value. Like I said, we were looking to get an asset in this region or to build an asset uh, in the region. And, and since we got a high-quality asset, which we were able to get at close to replacement cost, um, that worked very well for us.